Kathy rose feeling well, so she rose up and started walking towards her bedroom. Where do you think you're going, young lady? A stern voice from Philip. I am well now, and I have to return to my room. Philip came closer and held her hand, then touched her forehead. Kathy continued. It's nighttime, and you need to sleep too. I'm sorry I caused you much trouble. Philip smiled and said, No trouble at all. It's okay if you could sleep here. My bed is huge with so much space. You're not a bother to me. Philip grinned. Kathy smiled back and said, Thank you for your kindness, sir, but I have my own room. I shall not bother you anymore. Then she turned away blushing. It was a Sunday morning when Philip thought of meeting all his security for a talk. He walked outside, breathed deeply, then called his security detail for a talk. He told his men for a new change in keeping watch on Kathy. He talked directly to Andrew, the head security of Kathy's. I'm replacing two of your men for new faces and give some space for Kathy to breathe. Let her move around and socialize without your close watch. Be there, but don't be too visible. That Monday morning when Kathy was dropped off to her college, she noticed that her security were not around. Then she recalled what Andrew, her chief bodyguard, told her that they wouldn't be around close to give her freedom to socialize. And Kathy proved it right when no security could be seen hanging around. Kathy was alone in the college park feeling if it was real that no one's around guarding her when some of her girl classmates called her to join them. She was so happy that she can breathe at last. The following days were more significant for her for she's gaining more friends and one of them was Florida. Kathy can already socialize freely and mingle with anyone without feeling watched. And while she was with her friends having their meal, she noticed a guy who came to their table to join them. Hi, I'm Alex Thompson. I was sitting behind you, in the class, waiting to be noticed. I've been wanting to know you but you seemed stiff in making. Friends, but as I see it now, you surprisingly came. Out of your shell, can we be friends? Alex offered, his hand for a handshake. Alex Thompson was a popular guy in the campus, known to be a heartthrob among girls. He was a chunk of a man, very handsome with blue eyes. His smile was so captivating. No wonder girls swoon over him. Now she wondered, why does he want to befriend her when she was just an ordinary girl who was far from the girls who were always around him, trendy in clothes and with makeup, pleasing to look at? Kathy felt magnetized by his looks and decent manners that she couldn't refuse his friendship. From there on, Alex and Kathy casually hang out together, studying, reviewing, and talking about anything that interests their fancy. Each day makes them getting closer to the point of being able to get into a friendship founded by mutual trust and understanding. Both seemed inseparable, studying together, enjoying each other's company. Then one day, Alex invited her to go out with him outside the, the university for a snack after class, and Kathy gladly accepted. They were to go to a coffee house just close to the university. The more they were together, the more they became closer. Andrew, her chief bodyguard, became wary of this blooming relationship. Alex seated face to face with Kathy then. He made a gentle, sticky stare at Kathy, which she felt awkward. Alex held her hand then said, Kathy, for the days we have been together, I realize that I don't want us to be just friends, but can we be more than that? Will you be my girl? Alex asked. Kathy was surprised and was at a loss for words. She couldn't respond at once for it was far from her expectation. She locked eyes with Alex searching for sincerity in his eyes while he was waiting for her response. Don't you think that was too fast? Kathy responded. Kathy held the coffee cup tightly then, turned the cup playfully around with her hand. Feeling nervous and uptight, Alex held her hand and said, I mean what I said, Kathy, I'm getting to. Like you each passing day and I really can't get you. Off my mind. I always look forward to seeing you every day and I can't let go of this excitement to be with you. Be my girl, Kathy. Then Alex held her hand and brought it to his lips and kissed it. Kathy felt beholden by Alex's gesture and her heart was beating fast. Then she replied, I, I'm confused, Alex. I haven't had this kind of feeling before. I like you too, Alex, but Alex said assuredly, let's take one step at a time. As long as we're together, you'll finally realize that you like me too. Be my girl, Kathy, and promise you'll never regret this. That night in her bedroom, 
Kathy paced back and forth, thinking if having a relationship with Alex would be right. What if Philip finds out? Will he get disappointed? I came to college to get a degree, not to fall in love. But am I really in love? If this is love, why do I feel afraid and uncertain? When I imagine Philip stares at me, my heart flutters, and the hair of my skin rises. But with Alex, nothing wild that could not even give me goosebumps. The following morning, after Kathy was dropped off to the college building, Alex was already waiting. He held Kathy's hand as they walked. Then he pulled her close for a kiss. Kathy was caught in surprise. After that kiss, Kathy felt her hand wet but cold, but she tried to calm herself. In their art class, Alex Steele glances at Kathy, making her feel awkward that she tried to focus her attention to her painting. Her attention was distracted when she took a glimpse on Alex's artwork. She stood by, looking at his work, and was so impressed. How do you see my artwork, Kathy? Want to add a little here and a little there? Alex asked delightfully while Kathy was admiring at his work of art. Kathy came close to him so impressed that she gave a good tapping on his shoulder. Then she whispered, You're such a fine artist, Alex. I'm truly impressed. I like your artwork, she said with delight. A kiss would be rewarding then. Alex turned his head and quickly planted a kiss on Kathy's cheeks, making Kathy to blush then felt embarrassed as their classmates caught them. Then came a cheering sound resonating around. A smile curving her pale pink lips, with bowed head, shyly returned to her place, held her paintbrush slightly trembling, and continued her artwork on canvas. She couldn't fathom how she remained so composed amidst the tumultuous outbursts of joyous applause from the class. Can Kathy fall in love eventually with Alex?